ओं वक्रदुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि समप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्येषु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्य वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओजस्वीनावधितमस्तमाशावे ओ शाशाशा ओ परम नम श्लोकाकर्माण मन सास्ते सुखम वशी मन सा इंपॉर्टेंट श्लोक अबउट दि ज्ञानी ज्ञान अवस्था ज्ञानी सर्वकर्मा मनसा सन्यस ज्ञानेन सन्यस्य रिमेन्स सुखम हैप्पीली विथ ऑल दिस इंद्रिया द माइंड अंडर इज वशा कंट्रोल रिजाइडिंग इन दिस नाइन गेटेड सिटी दिस बॉडी इज कंपेयर टू ए सिटी इवन कटोपनिषद इट इज कंपेयर इन द कटोपनिषद इज कंपेयर टू लेवन गेटेड सिटी two more dwara one hole in the that the belly button another one is the brahma randra which for a upasaka opens up at the time of the release of the jiva from the body so that is brahma randra so <clears throat> ekadasha dwara so whether, this is a nine, this is a gated city whether nine gated or 11 gated city dehi the one who resides in the sharira न करोति आत्मा न करोति प्रत्येक आत्मा न करोति न कारयति नाय हंति न हन्यते सेम सो दैट इज आत्मा न करोति आत्मा न करोति न कारयति एव कुर्व न कारयन न हन्ति न हन्यते सो व्हाट भगवान टॉट इन द सेकंड चैप्टर सेम थिंग हियर दिस इज द स्टेटस ऑफ अ ज्ञानी व्हिच वी सॉ नाउ द नेक्स्ट श्लोक व्हिच वी हैव टू सी 14th श्लोक लेट अस रीड न कर्तृत्व न कर्मा लोक से सृजति प्रभु न कर्तृत्व न कर्मा लोक से सृजति प्रभु न कर्म फल संयोग स्वभाव प्रवर्तते न कर्म फल संयोग स्वभाव प्रवर्तते in the next shloka bhagavan goes on to describe this freedom being in the living in the shariram is free not bound by the upadi the sharira manasanga takarika anusanga ta upadi the freedom that which the yani enjoys is described here kartrutvam na kartrutvam prabhu is the person that is atma here prabhu atma is one with atma Yes, abhimana with atma, not with the shariir. Even though he resides in the shariira, the body, but yes, he, he has discovered the truth. He has understood himself to be atma. Therefore, at, aham atma, 
अपरिच्छिन्न सर्वव्यापी जगत् कारण ब्रह्म दफो द शरीर इज नो मोर ट्रबल फॉर दट पर्सन दफोर रिजर्डिंग इन द शरीर प्रभु आत्मा हु सेल्फ एफलजेंट प्रभु प्रकर्षेण बवती प्रभु यर आत्मा इट इज प्रकर्षेण बवती सेल्फ एफलजेंट आत्मा देही आत्मा देखा सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज देखी दे आत्मा नॉट सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज इट इज नित्य नित्य शुद्ध मुक्त स्वभाव आत्मा प्रभु दट प्रभु रेफर्स टू आत्मा आत्मा ज्ञानी ज्ञानी इज आत्मा आत्मा इज ज्ञानी दर्ज नो डिफरेंस ज्ञानवत्वा बिकॉज यस ज्ञान दफर फॉर द पर्सन लोक लोक पदपर्सन लोक लोक जन से पदपर्सन सो आत्मा डज इन क्रियेट एनी कर्तृत्व दुर्वर्शिप न सृजति आत्मा बीइंग व्हाट इट इज हाउ कैन इट क्रिएट कर्तृत्व फॉर द लोक ऑफ द पर्सन डज इन क्रिएट कर्तृत्व डज इन क्रिएट कर्म न कर्म फल संयोग नहीं संयोग कनेक्शन विद कर्म फल तो आत्मा इज नहीं कर्ता न कर्म न हंती न हन्यते न कर्म फल संयोग नॉट सब्जेक्ट टू रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म फल then who is subject to the of the karma phala karma phala anubhava the agnyani jeeva agnyani jeeva so <clears throat> swabhavastu pravartate then why this why a, why a jeeva why a jeeva performs action swabhavastu pravartate the jeeva once own nature leads to action the nature swabhavastu Again, we saw in the third chapter, swabhavastu pravati. Because of swabhava, there is karma. Not because of atma. Because atma neither has doership, nor it has action. Karma, karma ani. Does it create actions? Karma ani. Here, uh, atma na karma ani sujati. Therefore, karma we have to take it as not as not as the object here, the meaning, the object. Atma doesn't create any action. Doesn't do any action. That is the meaning. Neither as a doership, nor doesn't, nor our action for any person doesn't create any action for the person. Neither connects itself to the result of action because it is a sangha atma. But karma is seen. One's own nature, swabha vastu pravartate, jiva se swabha vena, karma ni pravartate. Swabhavastu. Swabhava is one's own nature. One's own nature leads the person to karma, not because of atma. Atma doesn't propel a person to karma action. What propels a person is the swabhava. Even for jnani also, prakriti jnani bhuta ni nikarha kim karishyati. Prakriti jnana vana pi. Prakriti we saw in the third chapter. Even jnana vana pi. Even for a jnani, jnana va jnana va na pi, jnana va na pi. It is sadisham cheshtate swasya ha. Even the wise person acts in keeping with this nature, because wise wise person acts doesn't mean that he is he is bound by the karma. It is swabha. It is his nature. It is his samskara. तो स्वभाव वस्तु प्रवर्तते आत्मा डी नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ आत्मा आत्मा डजेंट हव कर्तृत्व डेफोर डजेंट क्रिएट एनी एक्शन नॉट डेफोर एंड ऑल्सो डजेंट क्रिएट एनी एक्शन एंड न कर्म फल संयोग सो द स्टेटस ऑफ बीइंग फ्रीडम बीइंग फ्री द स्टेटस ऑफ बीइंग फ्री इज डिस्क्राइब हियर ज्ञानी इज One who has discovered himself to be Atma, therefore being Atma, Kartrutam Nasti doesn't create, doesn't produce, doesn't create karma. Nor he connects himself with the results of karma. Yani as swabhava, samskara, because of samskara bala and keeping with the swabhava, pravartate karma ni pravartate. That doesn't bind a person. 
Karmanyali Prabhupada Naiva Kinchit Karos Karoti Sa Visa, the fourth chapter. Even though Jnani engages in karma, he doesn't do anything. So Sabhava Stu Prabhupada, one's nature. That is because of one's samskara, one's nature, pravartate. One's nature leads to action. In this shloka, we are told why the wise person can remain happily, remain happily in the physical body. Atma, the one who is self-existent, that is called Prabhu, the Krishna Bhavati. Existence cannot be established unless there is consciousness and therefore that which is self-existent but be self evident and therefore it is called Prabhu. So, Atma is existence, consciousness. So, existence and consciousness, Chitta, Chitta, they are not different. That which is existent must be Chitta. That which is Chitta is Satta. So, Atma is Atma is self-existent. Chitta. Therefore, it is Chitta. If it is self-effulgent, does it require any external source for it to be effulgent? No. Because it is Satta, therefore it is Chitta. It is self-existent. doesn't depend on anything else for its existence. Self-existent. Because it is self-existent, Satta, therefore it is Chitta. doesn't depend on anything else for its effulgence. Therefore, self-effulgent. So, that is it. The here. The self existent self effulgent the connection. So Atma is Asti, Atma Asti Sat, Brahma Asti. Because it is effulgent, therefore the word Prabhu is the word is used. Prabhu, Prakashena Bhavati, that which is self effulgent, that is the translation we give. And this Prabhu, Atma, doesn't create na Svajati, Kartratvam for the person, Lokasya, doesn't create for the person, for any Jiva. Not only for a jnani, Lokasya is Jivasya. And here we are talking about the, the freedom as such. So Lokasya, for the Janasya, Narasya, Manushyasya, doesn't create, Atma doesn't create the doership. Then what creates doership? That is, the doership is created by the, it's, it's created not by the Atma, it is created emotionally. In the Antakaranam, because of Ajnanam. So, Atma doesn't have Kartrutam. Therefore, how it is created, how Kartrutam is created, we cannot ask. It is notional. If it is real, then we can say created. This, there is a Chit Jada Granthi. There is a, a nuptial knot between the Chaitanyam and this Jada, Sharia Manasangata. Therefore, this, because of Adhyasa, Atma is taken to be the Karta. That is Ajnana, Adhyasa, Adhyasa Janya, uh, Ajnana Janya, Adhyasa. But Atma as such doesn't create any Kartarutam for the person. Atma doesn't issue any order to anyone to do any karma. Doesn't create doership in anyone. Doership can be created in you if someone orders you. Please do this and you do it. But Atma doesn't ask anyone to do anything. Nor does it ask the mind, the intellect, the memory to do, to, to think, to decide. No, Atma doesn't do. In the presence of Atma, everything happens. In the presence of light, sunlight, all the actions takes place similarly. Because the action takes place in, in the presence of sunlight. Can we blame the sunlight or can we praise the sunlight? Sunlight being what it is. The light is required for any action for to perform in the waking, so in the Jagrata Vasta, in the, the daytime, in the world. You cannot blame the sun or you cannot you cannot you cannot praise you cannot praise you can you can praise the sun because sunlight is because of sunlight Jivarashi is sustained here in the universe. But you cannot attribute the cause of karma to the sun. It eliminates everything. The, sun, the presence of light actions happen. So therefore Atma doesn't say, come on, recollect, come get depressed, get angry, learn Vedanta. Atma doesn't say, who is learning really Vedanta? Atma. Atma doesn't have to learn Vedanta because Atma is Jnana. The person, Jiva, learns Vedanta. The Jiva only gets depressed, Jiva only gets angry, Jiva only has memory, has, has thinking, his application of mind, decision, everything, Jiva does. Atma doesn't issue any such orders to anyone. Therefore, it is not the cause of doership within oneself, nor is it the cause of anyone else doership. The person who knows this, he was described in the previous shloka as Evashi, 
who is seated apple in the nine gated city physical body just as a king sits in his walled city with many gates seated in the city naiva kurvan nakarayan atma doesn't do the same thing akartatum nakarmani atmanaha there is however as an illustration a defect in this comparison between a king and a vashi okay no drishtanta is perfect therefore here also some defect in the the comparison deepavana all the work is done by the others but still but still the king is a karta yes in the a king who lives in the, the nine gated city the work the work is done by the servants the workers but who takes the who but who is uh, under the inspection of whom and who takes the the doership the, the king says i am the karta i am the doer the king is a karta he sits on his throne wearing a crown and wields the royal scepter of power so therefore the king is the karta he orders and therefore the prajas they do work but question now is is atma is also a doer like a king is atma seated in his inner most chambers ordering the mind intellect and so on and to do this and that no if so then atma would be a karta so that is why the defect is clarified the defect of the upamana is clarified by this shloka in response to this question lord krishna says that atma doesn't create a or cause of doership kartatvam na srijati kartatvam na srijati like a king meaning that if even indirectly the atma is not involved doing anything like the king the king is not directly involved but he is a karayita but atma is neither karta nor karayita not even no no directly and not even indirectly Now a question may arise here. While I can understand that Atma is not a doer, is it not the Atma that makes the mind and senses function? Even the Shruti describes Atma as the Shrutrasya Shrutram Manaso Mana Manahaiti, ear of the ear, mind of the mind, eye of the eye, Chakshush Chakshush Chakshu Chakshush Chakshuhiiti, and so on. Can I open it? Sure. Since Atma is said to be behind all the functions, does Atma not order all of them? No. Krishna says here that it is not so. Shotra says Shotra Manaso Manaha Chakshusha Chakshusha Ha. It is even though Upanishad says when you understand the Upanishad, but this Shotra says Shotra means the ear is ear because of Atma. In the presence of Atma, only ear functions. But Atma is behind all the functioning of Indriya. But it doesn't mean Atma order all of them. Atma doesn't create karma. Atma doesn't create any action. karmani na sruj karmani na srujati karmani actions do not produce action it doesn't produce action in the ear action for the ear doesn't produce action for the eyes atma doesn't command the eyes to open atma doesn't command the ears to function meaning that atma performs no action no karmani na karoti na srujati srujati means doesn't create na karoti is understood as na karoti doesn't do atma doesn't perform action directly or indirectly If we translate the word karmani in its grammatical sense, then the phrase karmani na srijati, atma doesn't create objects. That meaning is possible. Karmani, karmani taking the word karmani to be objects, atma doesn't create objects. Karma in grammar means the object of a verb, such as chariot, pot, house, etc. These are called objects in terms of action. The dato is a karma ka dato. Then the object will be there. It's called karma, karma karaka. For example, when you say he makes a pot, he makes a cake. He makes a pot. So the gatam karoti, gata is the karma for making, doing, and done by the it's karta. Gata karaha he, she makes a cake. She the karta bakes, does the kriya. Cake is a karma. She creates, she produces, she cooks. The children eat food. Food is a karma. The karta is children. Kriya is kadati so the objects like pot cake food and others are not created by atma atma neither performs actions not creates objects nor creates objects karmani na sujati the word karmani can here be understood as the object of action as well as the action itself the for both ways is possible karmani na sujati doesn't produce action or doesn't produce object of action also doesn't creates objects that meaning also can be taken possible so atma is neither the subject nor the object 
Nayam Hanti Nanyate. That is why in the beginning I said, but here, uh, since the translation was taken, Karmani is action. Therefore, but both ways you can take. Atma doesn't also create karma pala sanyoga. Sanyoga means joining, samanda. Since the results of action are accrued to the doer, the karta, Krishna also, Bhagavan also says that Atma doesn't create this connection between the result of an action and the doer. Na karma pala sanyoga sujati. Results of actions are in keeping with the laws of Ishvara. But here we are talking about the swarupa of Ishvara. Ishvara swarupa, which is also Atma, the Pratek Atma, the self. Since Atma doesn't create any Atma doesn't create doership or objects. Kartrutam or karma. It doesn't create a connection also. When there is no karaka, then how can it create the connection between the karakas? Neither karta. Kartar karaka. Atma is not karta. At the same time, Atma is not karma. Cannot produce karma. Then how can the result of action, how can it can karma pala yoga connect between one's action and the results of action. So that is why, even though the jnani does karma, is na lipyate, kurvan na pi na lipyate, he is not touched by the karma pala. If Atma doesn't do anything, then who is it that does all this? Bhagavan says, suva vastu prabhatate, one's own nature. One's own nature engages itself. We see jnani doing karma. Who does this action? The nature. The nature does, one's own nature does. Nature means one's own nature. Svavastu pravatate. We saw in the ninth, ninth shloka of this, this chapter where Bhagavan said sense organs engage themselves in sense objects. Indriyani indriyarteshu vartante iti matva iti dharayan iti dharayan that is here. The sense organs engage themselves in the sense objects. The sense organs are the subhava. So, Indriya Vishayas are there, Indriyas are there, they interact. Eyes open, the objects are seen. So it is between the eyes and the, the sense objects. The ears see the, the eyes see the ears here, the mind thinks, the intellect decides, and so on. But jnani doesn't take the, the functioning of the eyes to be the functioning of oneself. Only when you take, then only you connect with the results of action. Then Ajnani does. He has got Avivana with the Shariram and therefore with the Indriyani. Therefore, he has, his, his, he has a notion of Aham, Aham, Drashta, Aham, I am the seer, I am the hearer, Iti. But the Jnani knows, Shotrasya Shotram, Aham, Atma, Shotrasya Shotram, Manaso, Manaha, Chakshushaha, Chakshusha, Chakshushaha, Iti, he knows. Due to lack of discrimination, one superimposes these activities on the Atma, Adhyasa. Jnana Jani Adhyasena, Ajnani superimposes this activity is an Atma. This is why one thinks I am the doer, I am the thinker and so on. Since people do not know that there is a superimposition of Dhyasa, therefore Bhagavan discusses in the, the next shloka. All these are important and beautiful shlokas. Nadatte kasya chit papam Nadatte kasya chit papam Nachaiva sukrutam vibhuhu ಶ್ಲೋಕ <laughs> The previous shloka, Prabhu, meaning Atma, in this shloka, Vividam Bhavati Atma. All pervasive Atma is called Prabhu, it's a master, is self effulgent. Prabhu means self effulgent in the previous shloka we translated. And here it is Vibhu, Vividam Bhavati, the entire Jagat, Brahma, the all pervasive Atma. Therefore, Na Adate doesn't accept Kasyajit Papam Na Adate. It means 
ஆத்மா ஸ்ரீ ஃப்ரம் பாப்பா புண்ணியமாச சுகிருத்தம் ச நாதத்தை கஷ்டச்சித் பாப்பம் சுகிருத்தம் விபுகு விபுகு ஆத்மா டசன்ட் அக்செப்ட் அக்செப்ட் மீன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் இட் நாட் இட்ஸ் அ டூவர்ஷிப் நோ ஆத்மா இஸ் நாட் டச் பை பிரம்மன்யாதாய காகேன இந்த திஸ் சாப்டர் இட்ஸ் வி சா பட் இந்த த காண்டெக்ட் ஆஃப் கர்மயோகா வி சா பிரம்மன்யாதாய கர்மாணி சங்கம் தியக்வா கிரோத்திய லிப்யசேன பாப்பேன பத்மபத்திர நிவாம்பசா தர் இட் இஸ் ஞானி இஸ் டாக் அபவுட் பிரம்மணி ஆதாய பிரம்மணி ஆதாய கர்மாணி வி சா தட் பத்மபத்திர விவாம்பசா தி பத்மபத்திர the lotus leaf is not touched by the water similarly that is we are talked about the karma yogi in fact there it is karma yogi brahmani yada ya fixing the mind offering the mind offering the actions unto the brahma the karma yogi is talked about for karma yogi itself it is said there he offers he performs karma he does karma what is to be done without any attachment like the patna patra பத்மபத்திரோகிபிரோதி ஸ்வீகரோதி மீன்ஸ் நாட் டச்ட் பை நிப்பியே ந பாப்பேன பாப்பேன புண்ணியன அவர்த்தம் ஞானம் தேன முக்கியத்தி அஜான ஆவர்த்தம் ஞானம் ஞானம் நாலேஜ் ஆத்மா இஸ் கவர்ட் பை அஜானம் தேன பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் விச் தி பீப்புள் ஆர் டெலூடர்ட் சோ த ஆத்மா நெய்தர் அக்செப்ட் தி பாப்பா நா தி புண்ணிய ஆஃப் எனி மன் knowledge is covered by ignorance and because of that ignorance people are deluded it was said earlier that atma doesn't create connection between one's action and the results so that is explained here this is explained here by saying atma doesn't take on punya or papa because atma doesn't have devarshi bhuktartum nasti it is one luminous self that lights up the antakarana chaitanyam chaitanyam lights up the antakarana antakarana the mind the mind is the mind antakarna is not self effulgent it has borrowed effulgence therefore atma is called the sri drashta because seeing cannot take place without atma but in reality atma is the swarup of the sri that which we say chakshushah chakshushah shotrasya shotram chakshush so therefore சோத்திரசிய சோத்திரம் மனசக மனக சோத்திரசிய சோத்திரம் தி இயர் ஆஃப் தி ஹியர் த ஒன் ஊ மீன்ஸ் த ஒன் ஊஸ் பிகைண்ட் தி பிகைண்ட் ஆல் தி சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஹூம் தி சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் தட் இஸ் அ மீனிங் சோத்திரசிய சோத்திரம் மனசோ மனக இது ஸோ இயர் ஆத்மா இ திரஷ்டா இஸ் ஆத்மா இ திரஷ்டா the sense organs see because of atma the sense organs are sense organs because of atma the sense organs are sense organs therefore since seeing cannot take place without atma therefore in reality the swarup of the seer the one who sees what is swarup of that it is the it is atma so therefore swarupa of the swarupa of this year and not the seer the primary sense so we are not seer the primary sense it is swarupa the seer is atma but atma is not the seer pranasya pranaha prana is atma but atma is not pranaha chakshushah chakshuhu chakshushah chakshuhu chakshuhu is prana but atma is chakshu is uh, atma but atma is not the chakshu chakshu means eyes the eye of the eye means the seer the seer is atma but atma is not the seer pranasya pranaha pranasya pranaha shotrasya shotram 
So the hearer is Atma, but Atma is not the hearer. The ear, the, the, the sense organ, ear functions because of which, because of which, that is the Atma. The Swarupa of the hearer is Atma. So, the hearer is Atma. Fear is Atma. But Atma is not any of them. Atma, because na Sangha doesn't have Sangha. It is the Swarupa of the, the Swarupa of the person with reference to his action is talked about. The seer is Atma. The hearer is Atma. The thinker is Atma. But Atma is not any of them. So, at, therefore, Atma nature is Chaitanya, Shuddha Chaitanya, pure consciousness, which is referred to as the ear of the ear, the eye of the eye, that is the Tena Upanishad. Shotrasya Shotra Manaso Mano Yeta Vacho Vacham Sau Pranasya Pranaha Chakshusha Chakshuhu Itimuchadhi Raha Kristya Asma Loka Amrita Bhavanti Iti. This is said in the Katopan, in the Tena Upanishad. So, therefore, there is no connection between the Atma and the results of action. Either the Papa nor the Punya accrues to Atma or taken by Atma. If anyone is taken by Atma, it is. Then the knowledge is covered by ignorance. Ajnana ena vrtam jnana tena mukhyanti jantaha. That line is explained here. We will see it tomorrow. Om pur namadav pur namidam pur nar pur namadachate. Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Dhanyavadha